I know how to start this. I never usually film with people. Why don't you just start it the way you usually start it? Because it's awkward because you're here. <laughs> no. Why are you making that face? <laughs> you look... No, that's just my face. No. You yeah. look mad. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I haven't had beer yet, so... Ha ha ha. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a guest with me today. This is my fiance, Cass. What's up? Hello. We um, recently got engaged and um, I don't know, I wanted to film a video about it and well, I really, my original plan was to film a video uh, doing a Q&A about our long distance relationship because we've been doing long distance for four years now. Mm -hmm. But in the process of me thinking about that video, Cass managed to propose to me. It was a surprise. So, surprise, we're engaged. And um, so I'm putting an announcement and a Q&A in together. So we got, we got engaged like, a month ago? No, not a month, like almost a month ago. A couple ago. weeks ago. Yeah. I mean, um, time kind of just blends together nowadays, so I really don't... Yeah. I don't even know what day it is, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> he actually proposed to me while I was filming one of my YouTube videos. Maybe I won't set a clip, maybe not. Um, we'll see about that. We'll see if I want to keep it to myself or share it with you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to answer a few questions about mm, yeah. us. I mm -hmm. know you're looking at me. I know you're looking at me. I know you're looking at me. No, you're looking at me. How are you looking at me when I'm looking at you and you're looking at me? Because I'm looking at you. We got a few questions from some Facebook groups and also... Callum Bull, thank you for charging me, Egon. I love you. You should leave Carlos for me. I set that up for her. So I got a few questions of some Facebook groups and I also got some questions on Instagram. Uh, by some I mean one. But um, just to start us off, how long have we been together? I already said that. Four years. Five Four years. this year. Yeah, it's gonna be five, but it's literally just been four because we, we got together in December. And the whole time we've been doing long distance. Yes, ever yes. since we met. A lot of the questions were actually asking how we met. You wanna give them the real story or do you wanna give them the fake story? Because I can do either. The real story, I don't care. We met on Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, we met on Tumblr. Um, we were Tumblr mutuals for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And I think we added each other on Snapchat. Yeah. And, um... She was creeped out by me at first. The man sends a lot of pictures with a shirt on. I don't wear as shirts seven, when I'm in my house. As a 17, 18 year old gal, you know, when you add someone on Snapchat and suddenly they're nice, but they Snapchat you without a shirt, it's kind of weird, you know? But we got past that, didn't we? It was collarbones, but at the same time. Okay, it was, yeah, it wasn't like naked or anything. No, I didn't still happen until weird. later. Shut up. But it was still a little weird, so yeah. But we overcame that, didn't we? You overcame that. I still... He continues not to wear shirts. And this is the only time I really wear ever. shirts. Like, yeah. I was told to put he's, a shirt on. He's, n he's not a shirt guy. <laughs> I get hot easily. I know. So... Do you want me to leave earlier than I usually do? Do we, ma'am? <laughs> Some people were asking as well how far away we were and how often do we see each other and how long we were long distance. So we are currently still long distance. A little bit for now. Yeah. Cass is gonna go back home in about a week uh, back to Texas to, yeah, get stuff done and close off some unfinished business so he can try and move here and fingers crossed by next summer we'll be living together this summer because next summer would be 2022 oh 20. so hopefully this summer we'll be living together with our dog with my our dog. dog yes our dog our dog it's my dog too i know he is so for how far away we were so i live just outside of london in the uk i live in fort worth texas so just a little, just like, a little just 5,000 miles. A hop and a skip. Just, just a jump across the ocean. Quit plane ride. It's fine. You know? That's nothing bad. Yeah? Nothing bad. And we normally see each other, depends on the year. I mean... Like once a year? Yeah, but it depends for how long. So sometimes we'll see each other in the summer. So I... The first time I went there, I went there for a week. She could not handle the heat. It's warm there in the summer. It's like 40 degrees. Jesus. Yeah, that's... Um, 
it's a light summer. summer it's yeah. a light summer. <laughs> and then the summer after that, I went over for two months. So I went in the summer of 2018 for two months. Then he came in March 2019. Then we saw each other in again the in the summer. In June? June. 2019, and we went on holiday together with uh, some of his friends as well. Mm -hmm. And then I came over for about five months. Mm -hmm. And now he's over here, and he was supposed to only be here a month, and he came over when it was still safe to travel. But unfortunately, because of everything that's been happening, he's been stuck here since November. So... I'm not complaining. We made, we see each other, you know, sp sporadically. It's not super often, but when we do, we try to make it a while. Yeah. Yeah, we try to make it at least we've a month, been, if not longer. We've been really lucky with work and how flexible our jobs have been. My work was just, I, I basically just told my work, hey, I have to go see her. And they're like, okay, how long do you need? And I was like, mm, well, five weeks. Done. <laughs> five weeks turned into four months, if not five. I mean, they were very understanding <laughs> because of one incident that, you know, we couldn't really control. Yeah. And they really, I mean, they understood that since it was like, a, that was a, a real low blow. Um, and after that, it's just been like lockdown after lockdown. And I mean, I'm not going to rack up fines for yeah. traveling when I'm not supposed to. Wear your mask, guys, by the way. <laughs> you know, we're still deep in this shit. So just wear your mask. Facts. But yeah, so we see each other sporadically, but we always try to make it worth our time. <laughs> that's, that's the answer to that question. What was the hardest challenge you guys had to face? Um, when we could see each other. Yeah, trying to figure out when the best dates were for each other just because we both worked. I was also a student um, up until 2019. I mean, I'm a student again, but obviously I was in like full-time daytime education then, so I had to kind of work it around there. I had jobs and bills to pay off because I live in the United States, so, you it's know. It's expensive. It's very expensive. Um, the only second part was pretty much, it's the time difference. She's plus six when I'm at home. Yeah. And so whenever I'm getting off of work, like at say 9 p.m., she's already fast asleep because it's 3 a.m. and she yeah. has work or lectures the next day. And, you know, it's whenever I'm trying to tell her about my day, you know, something funny that happened or, you know, something serious that happened, you know, she's like half asleep. I'm listening, I'm listening. Sometimes it's hard to find time for each other because of the time difference and just because, you know, we, we both have stuff going on. Sometimes it's tough to find time for each other and like spend quality time together. I mean, yeah. Because we sit on the phone quite a bit, just, you know, on FaceTime, hanging out. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll be playing Xbox, she'll be on FaceTime, YouTube, stuff, YouTube yeah. you know. But sometimes it's just, it's hard to figure out a way to spend quality time together and not let it affect your relationship that way. Yeah. During the pandemic, how do you cope with not seeing each other? I drink a lot. I don't say that like that. I suppose, I mean, the pandemic didn't really change anything for us because we... Just the uncertainty of like... When we're gonna see each other next. Yeah, because when COVID started, like I was... UK locked down like their borders. Yeah, I was actually... The original plan last March, last year, was that we were gonna meet in Chicago and visit one of our friends mm -hmm. and hang out there. So we were gonna see each other in March, but obviously, luckily I didn't book any tickets. So it, you know, everything went into lockdown. So we weren't able to do that. So we really haven't seen each other since last Christmas till this November. So almost a year, 11 months, <laughs> which is I think the longest we haven't seen each other. Yeah. But because we're used to being apart for long periods of time. We're really good at being independent and just yeah, hanging out. We're very much not dependent on each other. Like we can just sit. Cause we've always been long distance and we've always, that's all we've known, our whole relationship. I think it's easier because we already have coping mechanisms to being away from each other for long periods of time. And they're healthy-ish. Yeah. <laughs> so really the pandemic just created an uncertainty mm -hmm. with when we're gonna see each other next and a slight fear there. Mm -hmm. How has the distance strengthened your relationship? I'm not as clingy as I used to be or like, I mean, that sounds wrong, but like I'm not as, I don't want attention from you like all the time yeah you know i can like the little bit of attention that she gives me it's you know it's enough for me to be like she loves me as long as she responds yeah and you know like just at least listens to me whenever i'm talking about something even if it's stupid like how mothman we is real we try mothman's real 
probably. Yeah. For me, I think I just, I became more trusting. This is specifically like within this relationship, just because obviously starting long distance is just very difficult. And um, it wasn't always easy and it never is truly easy. I think you're gonna have hard times even if in the closest of relationship, it doesn't matter if you're long distance or not. But I think it really did, you know, you did really like gain my trust. Mm. And um, I'm not like super panicky anymore or I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like I've let go a little bit and it's like in a good way. <laughs> that's, yeah, I mean, that's fair. I mean, yeah. I always had trust, but like it was, it's like, yeah, it's, it's strengthened. It, it, it's one of those things where like, you know, before everyone ooh, could go out. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I think also one of the things that being long distance really strengthened us is um, appreciating the times that we're together. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Because we, you know, we only get so much time to spend together. I mean, and what? so we, we make the best of it. Hey, Easy let them know what happened. My battery died, because I'm a professional. So we switched to a different um, camera, mm -hmm. which is still good. Are there times when, you've, uh, when you're fed up with the whole distance thing? And can you continue the distance relationship after marriage? We uh, don't plan on it. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, what was, Hold let on. me see it again. I mean, who wouldn't really get sick of long distance? I mean, not seeing your significant other for days and months on end and stuff like that. Even if you're like two hours away, you know, it's... It's hard. It's, it's You it's, want them there. It's annoying. The silver lining is if I ever get a job like in the Netherlands or in Germany or something and I have to live there for a little bit before she can come over, you know, and live with me there, it's going to be like, oh, we're used to this, so it's... We've fine. done it before, done it we before, can do it so again. So it's really just, it, it depends on um, your communication and just like... And let me tell you, we're not the best at it. So even if your communication is iffy, you can we, still make it work. You, we're not you, the you, best at communication. You we have to me that you were the best. I am the best, not specifically at communication. <laughs> well, I'm um, a Scorpio and I see differently. Well, I'm a Leo and I'm right. Mm. But yeah, we don't plan on keeping long distance no. after marriage. I just think that's, that's a bit too hard. Mm. Have you ever felt like quitting this relationship? At times it was like, it crossed my mind, but at the same time it was just like, if I don't have my best friend in my life, then I really, there's not like, there's not, there's no point in living, you know, but like there's, that's dramatic. yeah, it's not, not as dramatic as I, but like if there's, I don't have my best friend with me in my life. There's no point in just quitting on it. Yeah. And just dust yourself off. I think swallow your pride, put it, you know, get back on the horse and yeah. keep going. Yeah, I'm I mean from my perspective I think as I say, you know, it wasn't always fun and games. It we've had rocky moments in our relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, when those moments come over you kind of you you, it crosses your mind, but I never seriously was like, I'm gonna break up with him. I mean no, no I, I, Well I've said it made me jokingly to my friend, but I never actually plan on going through with it, you know? I mean, I never actually meant it. It was more of like yeah. I was talking out loud like, to kind of get it Maybe out. I was pissed off at you about something and I was like, he does it again. And if I, if, <laughs> I'm done. If it was anything, it was just me getting annoyed at the fact that, you know, that, that time difference and, you know, something serious happened at work and I'm telling you about it and Yeah, it you're is asleep. frustrating. And I mean, it's trivial things like that that you have to really get over. It's frustrating to sometimes trying to communicate the little things because the big things you make sure to, to, you know, to get through. But it's the little things that sometimes just poke at you. But I think when we're together, and I mean, our friends might not agree, but when we're together, especially alone, we're really good. I mean, mm -hmm. when we're around other people, it's different because we have very... Different personalities. No, it's not different, but they're both very strong and we are both quite extroverted and we depending on our mood yeah depending on our mood but we 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 dig on each other a lot and some people think it's not really nice and i just think it's funny i mean i know that i've had we don't get offended at it like i mean if i do i tell you yeah yeah if it's like a bad moment then it's like yeah stop because like I, at the we, we know our limits we know what we can say to each other when we're alone we very rarely fight 
Yeah. We bicker a lot because, as I say, we have very strong personalities. We will have like heated discussions, like we'd have a heated discussion on the phone. Um, and my mum would come to my room and <laughs> she'd be like, why are you guys always fighting? And I'm like, we know, we're just loud. We just, that's how we have conversations we both sometimes. both come from cultures where our native yeah. languages are very loud. Well, we we come from very passionate cultures, so I'm Polish, we're quite... And I'm Hispanic. He, he's Hispanic, and they're quite, wouldn't you say? So they're very similar. They're very similar, just from different like corners of the world. Mm -hmm. So hence, back to the question. We, I never seriously considered it. Me either. Really, yeah. it was more of like, yeah, just to write it in the diary, take out the page. Actually, burn it. I take that back. I've had one, one thought of a like last strike and he knows what it is but that's it you know you've you've made reparations and it's we're good you know what's the hardest part when there's a conflict between you guys again the time difference because like i have to i have to stay up late to get her in the morning to either finish up finish off what we were talking about or continue talking to her about it and then it's like putting a pin in that, wasting all my energy, sleeping, going back to those feelings to commit to it's I really don't like how um it's easy to miscommunicate stuff when you're away from each other. And I think that's where most of our frustrations come from, that we're trying to say something to each other, but because I don't know, because we're not together in that moment and the other person can't see what we mean. Sometimes it just doesn't translate through like FaceTime or text or anything like that So that can create a little bit of conflict sometimes and also I really just like like I understand when you're like sometimes having a fight and you need to take a little time for yourself and like calm down and shit like that mm -hmm. But you have a tendency to disappear for eight hours and I really don't like that Because <laughs> I'm like I'm like I'm trying to apologize to you and I just feel like shit now I mean I've told you the only the only Three or four things that I'm doing is I'm eating, sleeping, working, or gaming. And most of the time it's because you're asleep, but it really yeah. frustrates me when we've just had like a heated discussion or like we 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 got a little angry at each other. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, I need a moment. And then he disappears for eight hours and he's probably asleep. But I'm like, Hello. Where are you? Come back. Like, that kind of thing. Someone asks, is it an open relationship and how do we deal with physical needs? It's not an open relationship, mm -hmm. just simply because, well, it's not. <laughs> and how do we deal with physical needs? And just work past it. Like any other single person that doesn't like to have one night Lots stands. of porn. Have you heard of a vibrator? They're pretty good, actually. Got my other girlfriend, Jill. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, it's... I don't know, I really don't like it when people think that because you're in a long distance relationship automatically will be an open relationship because obviously sex is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not denying. Sex is very important and for some people it's very, very important. But if the per I, I think if the person's worth it, like I think it's worth the wait. You know, I don't I don't really wanna sleep with anyone else. <laughs> I mean besides your list. I mean, if Callum Hood showed up and wanted to sleep with me, I'd probably do it, but I'd text you and ask for permission first. <laughs> There's exceptions to the rule, but overall, no, we are monogamous. Mm -hmm. What changes have you had to make in your lives to accommodate uh, each other's needs? And looking back on your relationship, what compromises changes would you have made earlier? I don't think we really... I didn't compromise anything other than a few jobs, but then... What student takes any of the student jobs I mean, seriously? So the most minuscule thing that I could think of, really, just very, very trivial, is just redoing my room to give us like a more adult kind of. Space. Oh, as in like what what you like the what, feng shui of the room. As in what you would have done earlier. Probably yeah, like yeah. you know that you know that uh, I think it was a meme on the internet where it's like you're a child if you have your <laughs> bed, bed in like, the corner of the room, yeah, and then you're you know adults have it in the middle of the room. Yeah, I mean, well, but I think it really optimized the space. It there, really and optimized the space, I, and I just didn't like the fact that I ha that one of us had to crawl over each other to use the yeah. bathroom, get water yeah. or whatever, and I really. Um, also don't think we have to make any massive sacrifices. We really, I mean, there's really nothing. We, you just... I think 
I mean, we I just don't know. Have... We just learned how to deal with it over time, and I yeah. wish we could have figured out that way earlier. Would you know what I find really funny about us? Mm. Is that I have I have a fire, sun and moon, and a water rising. Ow, I'm old. <laughs> and he has a water, sun and moon, and a fire rising. And I think that's why we're so with each other sometimes because we're just like. We, we cancel each other out. Ow! If you choose to look at it this way, that was a very weird noise. Just like Ow! <laughs> I thought you hurt yourself. I was like, what did you do? If you look at it this way, we balance each other out. There's another question asked me uh, when we first met yeah, and we was answer. it online? Yeah. Um, yes. And we first met in, well, we actually. 2014. Yeah, 2014, we kind of added each other on. Tumblr and 2016 is when we properly started chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the rest is history. <laughs> Someone just said, and I love that, and also, dude, to each their own, but some dude was like, I don't believe in long distance relations. One partner must always sacrifice and leave their place to be the dearest one. Well, it's not really sacrifice no. if you already hated the place you live in. Yeah, exactly. I don't like where I live, so I'm moving. I don't mind. Like, I don't. The thing is, when we're not gonna get it's political not, it's here. not, it's no, but it's not that. But it's when you don't mind moving, how is it a sacrifice? It's not really a sacrifice. If I now move to the US, I live away from my family, anyways. My family's in Poland, then, so it's a longer and a bit more expensive flight, but it's not really a sacrifice. I plan on having enough money to be able to fly there. And if I, if I hadn't met Iga. I was already planning on leaving Texas to go somewhere else because I'm not going to spend the rest of and my life. And you like the UK anyway, so you always like I the love, UK. Yeah, I love the UK. So, it like, depends how you look at it. I mean, yeah. Sorry, I really interrupted you. How fucking dare you. <laughs> but I just... The whole video's ruined. I'm sorry. It's ruined. Ruiner! I just think if you choose to look at it as sacrifice, then it's gonna be a sacrifice. If you choose to look at it as an opportunity for, a, you know, a change, then it's a change. You know, it's. <laughs> I just love how he just started this. I don't believe in long distance relations, like hun. That it's long you? distance relationships aren't mermaids for you to believe in. It's either you are a person who can do it or not, you know. It's not easy and it's absolutely not for everyone, which is how I responded to this comment. It's absolutely not for everyone. And if you can avoid it, I would say avoid it because it's hard. It is hard and it takes a lot. And we're not the best post to people to tell you how to have a long distance relationship. God knows and our friends know we have our goddamn issues. but. We've made it work and we're happy together, you know. You cannot believe them, but we're doing very well together. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know? Someone said, why is it long distance? Because I lived here and she lived there and it's a long <laughs> distance from each other. Ah, so yeah, someone asked, why is it long distance? And I think it's, well, because we have been together for a while. So I think that's why it's like, why is it still long distance? Oh, because... Because we are in our 20s. And if have you heard of the economy? Yeah, it's fucked. Have you heard of this thing called money? Imagine if you have it. Oh my god. Right? Mm -hmm. Incredible. Someone said, for me, it becomes out of sight, out of mind. How do you create quality time and stay relevant for each other? We're best friends. That's it. To answer the question more precisely, I think it's just we're friends, first and foremost. And we're partners, yes, and it's very important to us, but we're friends. And I think if you, you know, I'm sure you've had online friends. Like sometimes you just, it, when it flows, it flows. You know, mm -hmm. we're we're always chatting, we're always texting, we always send each other memes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always kind of like, so he's pretty much one of the only people I talk to, anyways. So it's never really outside of mind because we're always kind of somewhere. We're always popping up with each other. I think it would be very weird if we broke up. But like, I, <laughs> who the fuck would I talk to? <laughs> You have some friends. I don't. I have Bethany. Yeah, it That's about it. I, it just flows. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. That's what I think. And if it's working, it's working. And it it seems to be working. It ain't for broke, us. don't fix it. Yeah, but I think it's a lot of people ask you that question and then they want a straightforward answer, and it's it's just not a straightforward answer because it's so different for different people. 
you know, if you asked me six years ago if I'm gonna be in a long distance relationship, I'd be like, nope, even though I was kind of having a thing with another guy who was like a hundred miles from me. You know, we, we've made, I think we made it work very well. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it, you know, it's it's different for everyone. I can't, if for you it's outside out of mind and you, if you can't see your partner on a regular basis, you don't really see the point, That's then longer distance just isn't for you. Or you haven't met the right person that would make you wanna make that sacrifice, you know? Although I still don't see other sacrifices. <laughs> Nothing's really ever a sacrifice. Well, because to it me it's sacrifice. not a sacrifice. A what? Yeah, it's a compromise, it's a yeah, compromise. I see that, but some people see compromises as sacrifices. And you know, as I said, if you see it like that, then you see it like that. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Let's move on. Who made the first move? Uh, him. <laughs> I absolutely did not. She's not one to take risks. Oh no, I'm a Leo. You adore me. You fucking started this off by trying to meet up with me in London when you were here on the school trip. Yeah. I'm... And then he kind of kept pestering me. No, I'm joking. He was he was nice. We had a chat once in a while and then randomly in October one year you were just I'm persistent when I want to be. He never hit me up as in like, hey babe, let's date. He <laughs> <laughs> He um he messaged me in a friendly way and that's kind of and we had a lot we also had a lot in common, so that's I would have at least because my best friend Kayla uh, was with me. I on love trip. Kayla. Uh, I was gonna take Kayla with me, not only because, you know, she got my back, but at the same time I wanted to make you yeah. feel more comfortable with another lady being there. So we went on a tangent, by the way, we never met in London um, because I had an exam. Um, she the... ditched me for school. I had a visa exam. There's one question, <laughs> it's from Bethany actually. It's, uh, what do you miss most when you're apart? Sleeping next to her. Cuddles and kisses. I'm not a super touchy feely person, but because I'm touch starved permanently, uh, because we don't get to see each other a lot, I am. Um, I really enjoy cuddles. Let's not sugarcoat it. You know, Let's not sugarcoat it. We do miss sex when we not see each other. That's when two butts touch, right? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. We don't touch butts. Yeah, yeah absolutely not. Um, Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> I don't know, spending time with each other. Just sitting on the same couch, that's what I miss. Yeah, exactly. Most of the time, we're literally, especially now because we're in lockdown, we just sit on one couch and do our respective things until we start doing the same thing or watching the same show. That's kind of... Yeah. We're very low-key people. Although you do owe me a romantic date. I owe you about five, so it's okay. Mm. And an Xbox. I know. Those are all the questions, but overall, I, I don't know if you guys want to hear some advice. I don't know if we have any. I just, I'd say, you know, be honest with yourself. If you know you can do it and you think the person's worth it, then then go for it. Why not try it? If it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't hurt to try. Oh, well, Make actually. it work. Yeah, it's work, actually. <laughs> you, you can't just expect it to work if you don't put the effort into it, for sure. You need to actively try and work on it. Um, and it will be frustrating if the other person doesn't put enough effort into it because God knows we've been there. And it's not just like one-sided, it's sometimes it's just... Sometimes one of us is struggling and, you know. But it, you have to actively work on it and you have to... Surprise gifts from Amazon help. Yes, thank you. If you're international, always privately ship your things. Yeah. But also, FaceTime dates. And we need to do them more often. Like, have dinner on FaceTime. Just try your best. That's all I gotta say. Communication is key. Trust is key. Spending quality time with each other as in any way that you can once in a while Don't is key. Act. And a hell of a lot of effort. We're not preaching, we're just suggesting. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to put the effort in and you think that the person is worth it, then I say go for it because it doesn't hurt to try. But at the same time, it's kind of, you have to make it, every relationship is different. Just like, I can give you my experiences, but I can't tell you what to do. And I- You're adults and degree. Well, and also what worked for us might not work for you. So this is just kind of how we got together and- Get creative. And how we um, made it work. Yeah, four years strong. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is, that is probably going to be it for this video. Mm -hmm. We've answered some questions. I know we went on tangents. We talk a lot. 
the both of us. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up down below. Like and subscribe if you want more videos. Yes, as he said. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to follow me on any other social media, I'll pop them somewhere here, maybe. Um, and they're also linked down below. If you click on my face, then a uh, surprise will come. Yes, maybe I'll link his social media if it's good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, we put a pin in this video because I'm trying to get the Colourpop Animal Crossing full collection. And I'm in line for checkout and I am praying. Praying. I don't believe in God. I mean, I'm not super religious, but... Please, please let me have this. <laughs>